Hey, it's Tom Zeeb with Traction Real Estate Mentors and uh, forgive the sunglasses, it's very sunny out here. Flying with my buddy, Noel Lloyd. You met Lloyd on previous videos and uh, today uh, Noel took me up flying. So we want to uh, give you some good lessons from uh, flying, private flying, and how that also uh, pertains to business. Keep it rolling, stay tuned. <laughs> So, Noel, what do you think? You've been flying how many years now? Well, I uh, started flying about 45 years ago. 45 years ago, okay. <laughs> Not that you need to date yourself, okay. Right, right, right. right. And uh, uh, you're an entrepreneur and yes. a private pilot. Yes. And I'm seeing some similarities. How about you? Well, one of the things that I, th and that I teach my clients about is use of checklists. Mm -hmm. Because the shortest pencil is better than the longest memory. Uh -huh. And if you know that you should do it, it should be on the list. And then that way you also build a system that you can teach somebody else. Gotcha. So I don't want to forget anything. And if I get busy and if I get in the moment, I can forget something. If I did that with the airplane, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> For instance, a lot of trouble. if I took off without doing my pre-flight, which is the checklist. Yeah. And I had some control service problems or, oh, God forbid, I ran out of gas or, or something like this. So. <laughs> Uh, if it's important, it's going to be on a list, and and you practice it. Uh, I met a 747 pilot that had thousands of hours in type, and he had this three by five card that was laminated and it was all wrinkled and crinkled, and it was his personal checklist. And I said, "So Vince, do you always walk around the airplane?" He says, "Every single time, it's raining, snowing, no matter what's happening, I'm out. I'm checking the things that are important." So, so consequently, consequently. He had many, many years and, and uh, no accidents. So that's, that's the business application. I follow the checklist, figure out what you got to do. Follow the checklist. Systemize right. it and just follow the checklist. And then you can teach somebody else to do it as well. Hmm. It becomes a system that you can pass on. You know, I think some people avoid checklists because they think it's going to make it boring or it's mundane and routine, but we just landed. I found nothing boring about that at all. <laughs> so the fact that you follow a checklist, I don't think that's, <laughs> a problem. I'm seven, you know, uh, on downwind, I need to be 74 knots. That's uh -huh. on the checklist. When I'm turning base, I'm keeping 74 and I'm losing enough altitude to put the airplane gently. So all of this is part of what I've been trained. It's a part of a mental checklist, but there are so many different checklists. And if you've got a great golf swing, if you've got a great marriage, there are certain things that you do on a <laughs> consistent basis. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's either a mental checklist, or I believe in business that you should have some uh, written down checklists that you hold yourself accountable to and teach your team to do the same thing. Brilliant. No, Lloyd, great advice. Thank you. Thanks, and thanks for a great flight. We had fun today. <laughs> we sure did. It's Tom Zeeb and Noel Lloyd for Traction Real Estate Mentors, signing off. See you guys. Bye-bye.